Hey, hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel or you do not know who I am, my name is Jacob and this is Vintage by Jacob. Now it is freezing cold outside. I literally just got back in from my garage where I had this big bag of clothes from the Goodwill bins and it's like, it's below freezing right now for sure. Below freezing, no kidding me. Yeah, it's below zero right now. I think it's like negative one, two degrees outside. Um, super cold. Uh, everything was cold. The metal latch on the garage was cold. It's just not too enjoyable to be outside right now. And I am in my basement. Uh, and it's really cold down here as well. It's just a unfinished concrete basement. That is why I have these chopper mitts on and this hat. So if I look like a doofus, excuse me, it's just really cold out. So yes. If you watched one of my last videos, I think it was maybe two weeks ago now, uh, I started busting down this big haul that I got at the Goodwill bins. I got like four or 500 pounds of clothing. I've been showing you bag by bag what I purchased at Goodwill bins. I'm on my big Goodwill bins haul. Uh, today is no exception. There is another big bag of clothing I'm gonna start going through, showing you guys what I got, why I bought it, yada, 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 how much I think I can make off of it. Um, and yeah, if you don't know, I'm a full-time online reseller. I go to thrift stores and buy wholesale and do all this crazy stuff to make money online. So if that sounds interesting, hit subscribe, hit like, and comment. I'm gonna make the intro free. But yeah, thank you guys for the support so far. Let's just jump into the bag and see what I bought. So I am gonna take the gloves off. Um, I think I will suffice and have a little bit better dexterity without them on. And the first thing I see is this cool corduroy baseball cap. This thing is super sick. It says, Bobby Chan? Huh, really cool. Just a simple corduroy, almost vintage style hat. Um, yeah, not bad. Probably get like 12 bucks or so off that, so yeah, definitely not gonna complain. Okay, up next, let's see what I can grab strategically here. It looks like a jacket. This is a, Hollister jacket. This thing feels really nice. It's like a down style jacket. I'm gonna see if it's actually down because if uh, you watch this channel at all, you know I sell a lot of down, um, down products. Uh, sells really good. Let me see. Uh, it is all in different languages, which is awesome. I'm not gonna waste uh, the video time looking at the tags, but yeah, it's really nice down style jacket feels really nice probably a 15 to 20 dollar jacket no big deal uh and if you watched my last video or last couple videos like this nice little ralph lauren shirt i pay by the pound for all these clothes uh so most of these items average out to be less than a dollar per item uh so like for example this nice little ralph lauren green label uh shawl mock neck type thermal sweater dealy bob uh that was probably like 75 cents uh, if you average out the weight. So yeah, so um, all these items I pull up are probably less, or costing me less than a dollar. Um, and I expect to get at least $10 per item. So if you do the math, that's about a thousand percent profit. And yeah, that's just kind of how I like to roll. Okay, this one is a Minnetonka Ski and Snowboard Club long sleeve shirt. That's really cool personally, because I'm from Minnesota and that's why it's so cold out today. Next up, we have a nice pair of Levi's denim. Super cool. Super nice, like high quality pair of Levi's. Uh, 541 fit. Perfect. Levi's has been selling super awesome to me lately. Any type of denim, honestly. Um, I'm kind of going to try to go quick just because uh, there tend to be a lot of items in these bags, so I don't want to be too long winded. This is a really nice uh, athleta jacket. Check this out, like the back. It's got like this, uh, I don't know, what do they call that, mixed media? It's like a puffer style on the hood and the back. And then the rest is fleece. So that's a super nice jacket for sure. 20 plus dollar item. Athleta sells really good uh, for me personally. And this is a, what is that? Abacus? Huh. Abacus jacket? Huh. Never seen one of these before. Abacus count on it. Wind vent technology. It's like a it's like a really lightweight, maybe like a working out jacket or a spring jacket, windbreaker type jacket. Really nice. I'm gonna have to do some comps on that. We 
got a really nice pair of Citizens of Humanity denim. Uh, I feel like I filled this brand before. Can't recall off the top of my head, but it feels like a really nice pair of denim. So super stoked about that. Looks like it's a good fit and good wash. Let's keep rolling. Some sort of fleece right here. E-Studio, nice fleece jacket. Uh, not too familiar with the brand, but it feels like a high quality piece. So it's probably gonna be a $12 to $15 garment, I'm sure. Just based off of pure quality. Next up, we got this. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's on an older tag. Adidas long sleeve shirt. Nice, just kind of real nice worn in look. Um, stuff like this does pretty well for me. So again, probably $12, $15 piece. Okay, we got a pair of joggers. Uh, just a Route 21 brand jogger pants. Sell a lot of Route 21 stuff for some reason. Carbon brand. Doesn't go super expensive, but it sells pretty thoroughly for like 10 bucks or so. So definitely not too bad. This is a, let me see. Huh, this is really cool. This is like an insulated baseball cap. It's got the ear flaps, uh, nice fleece line. It's from Land's End, nice little adjustable strap. Man, this thing is super cool. Huh, really cool cap. Look at that by that guy. All right, this looks like a really cool knit sweater. Just on an old tag, but look at that. Really cool graphic. It's cardigan style, it's like floral pattern, all knit. Super cool. Uh, any type of vintage sweater that has like a really cool design sells super well. Probably gonna be in the $20 range. All righty. Next up, we have a Under Armour piece. Uh, this is a youth piece. Under Armour, kind of wrinkly. Under Armour, uh, twin shirt, super cool heat gear. Uh, I don't sell a ton of youth stuff, uh, but I do periodically if it's a good brand. I've explained that in past videos. And yeah, stuff like that. I mean, it's not a high dollar item, probably again, 12 to $15. Um, that's kind of typically what these bins items run for me uh, as far as resale value. Uh, but that's just perfect for my business model. Next, we have a nice pair of pink jogger pants. Uh, pink stuff by Victoria's Secret does super well. 15 plus dollar item. Super cool. Okay, this is a Abercrombie and Fitch denim jacket. Okay, super cool. This is women's, extra small. Still though, really cool, nice little floral pattern, nice light wash denim. Uh, anything denim honestly does really well for me personally, so super stoked about that. Next up, we have some sort of graphic t-shirt. Uh, kind of mid-grade vintage, just nice little embroidery on there. Let me see, Hawaii embroidery. Still a cool shirt, 12, 15 bucks. Ooh, this feels like some sort of woolen garment. Uh, love to sell wool garments. It sells super well. Nice soft sought after fabric. Top shop. Okay, so kind of like an H&M type brand. Uh, still feels really nice. Um, the H&Ms, the Forever 21, stuff like that sells pretty good. Um, not like crazy good or high value, but it sells pretty consistently. So I always pick it up if I see it. Again, $12, $15. Right here we got a New York Jeans Company, a pair of light wash shorts. Uh, anything denim is doing, doing really well as of late. Next up is this pair of Calvin Klein khaki pants. Super cool. Nice little Calvin Klein and tag on the back. Calvin Klein does really well. Uh, it's kind of like one of those uh, not retro brands, older brands that kind of resurfaced a little bit. So, I mean, I think it's kind of on the tail end of that, but people still pick it up. So, whatever. What is this? Jose's jeans. They're like cropped. Have to do a little research on that. I don't know the brand too well, but I pick up denim when I see it. Typically, if it's in good condition. This is a... No comment sweatshirt. I've never heard of the brand. I'm gonna have to do a little research on that. Feels really nice, like super nice. So 
we'll see. Um, I kind of like, if, if something feels like nice quality and it's in nice condition, I pick it up no matter what, just because of how affordable all this inventory is. So not, not a ton of risk on my end. Got a sleeve inside out, but this looks to be a, some sort of Minnesota, University of Minnesota sweatshirt. Um, and believe it or not, like I don't know if a lot of people would have luck with university stuff. I do. Um, <laughs> So like this piece right here is probably gonna go for 15 bucks, just a nice little zip up sweatshirt. Um, but I find a ton of University of Minnesota stuff, Wisconsin Badgers, even stuff like Penn State, Syracuse, just like a whole bunch of random stuff. And it always does super well, so I keep buying it. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how that does. This is a, huh, this looks really cool. It's an old t-shirt. Oh, long sleeve, okay. It's on an Aussie beach tag. I've actually never seen that. Uh, but it's got a penguin on it, and it says Operation Deep Freeze Antarctica embroidered on it. This thing is super sick. Huh, that is awesome. It feels really like nice quality too. It was printed on a really good quality blank. Yeah, I might have to do a little research on that. Cool t-shirt nonetheless, or long sleeve. Next up is this. What is this? This is a Lucy sweatshirt. Not too familiar with it. It looks like some like athletic style. It feels really nice though. Um, again, gonna have to count this out. I picked it up, I'm sure, because it felt like really good quality, which it does. Next up, we have this bag that says strawberry on it. Let me look into it. And this is a Kate Spade bag. Super nice. Cool. Um, Bags do really well, obviously. Uh, Kate Spade, this feels like a really high quality canvas bag. Um, yeah, for a buck or so is what it costed. So super stoked about that, nice Kate Spade. Don't know how much it's gonna resell for, but uh, I find, I tend to find a lot of like Coach and um, not so much Kate Spade, um, but like Marc Jacobs, stuff like that. Kind of like uh, Macy's brand type bags at the at the bins and they all sell pretty consistently between 25 and 50 bucks depending on the style the brand and the bag so I'd imagine that's gonna be right in there uh, with, with, with that so at least 25 bucks I'm sure Ooh, this is really cool this is a you can see the back it's really big Minnetonka hockey fleece jacket super cool um, yeah this is a really cool Cool piece, hockey stuff does really well. Um, probably 15 bucks or so. And then here we got this. E, what is this? Baseball Hall of Fame graphic shirt? Huh. I don't think this is too valuable, but uh, it was probably 50 cents or so, so I figured might as well pick it up. If I can get 10 bucks out of it, I'd be happy. Okay. Keep it rolling. Next up, we have a pair of, if I can find the tag, Savane cargo style shorts. They feel really nice. Um, any like style of short like this does really well. I mean, again, not high dollar, but 10, 12 bucks all day long. No big deal. All right, we got a nice leather piece, it looks like. Let me check. Ooh, this is a really nice leather piece. I can prop it up a little bit. This is a hooded Wilson's leather jacket. Oh, super nice, high quality leather jacket. If you don't know, Wilson's leather, super good uh, um, leather maker, obviously. They're kind of renowned. They're kind of the, the not, not I don't want to say gold standard because there's a ton of more high quality uh, leather makers out there. Um, but as far as um, department store price the leather goes, uh, they're kind of the gold standard. Um, they sell really well, $35, $40 jacket for sure. Um, so yeah, always look out for nice leather jackets. What is this? This is a, oh, there it is. It's like a shawl neck sweatshirt. It says Rocky Point, Lake of the Woods. Super cool graphic. Um, see what it's printed on. It's probably just a generic tag. It is printed on a top of the world tag. Um, still a cool graphic sweatshirt. 
again in that $12, $15 range. What is this guy? Let me see. Oh, this is a nice field and stream uh, thermal knit uh, sweater almost, mid layer. Super nice. Again, $12, $15. Bucks. And right here we got a, another pink Victoria's Secret um, jacket pants, sweatpants. Um, anything pink, Victoria's Secret does really well, 15 plus dollar range. So super stoked about that. Next up is this Paul Harris knit cardigan sweater. Again, uh, like I stated earlier, anything with a cool uh, design that's like a vintage sweater knit uh, type material. Uh, does super well. Um, this one's probably gonna, gonna be in the 18 plus dollar range. So super excited about that. So all this stuff adds up obviously. Still got a little bit left. We got another pair of Levi's. This is a loose fit pair of Levi denim. Again, Levi's, you, you know the name, you know the deal. Super good brand to resell. We have a pair of Goodfellow shorts. Uh, this is the Target brand. It sells okay. Um, if it's cheap enough, I buy it. Like in this instance, it's uh, it's like a Forever 21 or H&M selling that. Um, they have a lot of really good styled items. So I mean, it's that's gonna be a ten dollar pair of shorts. Next up is this. Let me check the tag. Oh, just a nice little American Eagle knit hoodie. Super clean, super casual, super cool. Uh, Twelve plus dollar range. Kind of how I view. Um, um, kind of, I have like an like a inventory tier, so to speak. So like the Goodfellow, the H and M, the Forever Twenty One. That's kind of in the lowest tier of um, quality of garments that I buy, and those kind of sell in the ten to maybe fifteen dollar range. And then there's you know the American Eagles, the Hollisters, the um, eh, I mean Aeropostale's kind of in between, but the Abercrombie and Fitch, um, uh, th those brands, they are kind of. They're, they're the next step uh, ahead of that, and they're in the, for sure, 15 plus dollar range. And then you get into the department store brands like the Macy's and stuff like that. And, and then, then you're just in a whole different category, but it's kind of a cool way to look at it, so to speak. All right, we got a super cool little denim shirt. It has a nice little embroidery on it, Reamer trading coat. Yeah, just a cool little denim shirt. Stuff like, quirky stuff like this always does well you know, 15 bucks or so. All right. Oh, cool. Sold several of these in the past. Uh, it's a park industry shirt. It's like a local company here in Minnesota, uh, but I find a lot of their stuff for some reason. I don't know why. Not high dollar, but you know, 12 bucks or so for a shirt like that. All right. This looks to be a Huh. Piece of bedding? <laughs> Don't remember why I grabbed this, but let me see. Huh, okay. This is starting to get a little bit more intriguing. Oh man, what the heck? Is this a, huh, something? I don't really know, is this like a sleeping bag type deal? It is Burton brand. I don't know if it's a sleeping bag or exactly what it is but it makes sense why I bought it now. Um, if you watched any of my past videos, any snowboarding, skiing, outdoor, like REI type equipment, sells super well. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more digging on that, for sure. Um, but definitely feels like a really nice item, and it's burnt, obviously, so. Uh, this looks like a nice little TRX shirt. It's like a workout style shirt. Again, not high value, 12 bucks. But all the $12 items add up Quick. And this guy is a vintage crew neck sweatshirt. Nice heavyweight. It's on a Pluma Outdoors tag. Huh. Feels really nice. Like really thick. Um, I sell a lot of blank vintage stuff, especially crew necks. I feel like I sell maybe two a week or so, it feels like. Um, so I always pick them up when I find them. I can find them decently thoroughly, or decently frequently, I mean. All right, we have this really, oh, this guy's super nice. 
It's like the salmon pink Teddy Bauer long jacket. Super nice jacket. Um, I always pick up jackets if they're for the cheap. I mean, that's a 20 plus dollar, dollar coat for sure. This is a Lulu Row bicycle graphic long sleeve shirt. Uh, Lulu, Lulu Row obviously has had its prime, that's for sure. Still sells, uh, not great, but I mean, uh, for, you know, I'll be able to get at least $12, $15 out of it. Um, like I said, it adds up, so if I can get it cheap, I'm always going to do it. This is a, gotta find the, the base of this. Feels like a cardigan. Yes. Blue Row cardigan. Feels really nice and soft. Uh, but yeah, again, cardigan, maybe 15, 20 bucks for this. It's past its prime, but it was cheap, so, you know, might as well. Next up is, hopefully not another Blue Row piece, which would be okay. Vintage, some vintage Mana sweater. Not too familiar with the brand, but it feels pretty nice, honestly. Just a nice little lightweight hoodie. Twelve, fifteen dollar range, I assume again. Next up is this. Oh, this is a really cool vintage sweater. Something Masters Bowling Greens. Man, this thing is really cool. Nice fat embroidery. Uh, sweaters like this are usually in the twenty plus dollar range, maybe twenty five dollar range. So that thing is really cool. All right, we're nearing the end. We got a Marietta Titans jersey. Not too familiar with the player. Um, I really only know Derrick Henry and Ryan Tannehill, but cool Titans jersey. Jerseys always do well. So regardless of the player, it's still gonna have some sort of value. All right, keep it moving. This feels like a really, really nice sweater. And can I confirm that by looking at the tag? Ah, somewhat it is a banana republic sweater so this is into that macy's tier of clothing so probably the 20 plus dollar range i'm going to see what type of material it is it is wool okay yeah it's actually a really nice sweater probably 25 plus dollar range. nice cardigan cool 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 all right what do we have here okay Huh, this is just kind of a unique denim vest. Um, yeah, super unique. Uh, vintage, yeah, no really words to explain, but unique stuff sells really well and really fast, surprisingly. So that'll, I'll probably get 20 bucks this week for that, which is super cool. And I think this is the last item. Yeah, this is a, oh, cool. Banana Republic Pima Cotton sweatshirt. Um, Pima Cotton, it's another kind of sought after-ish uh, textile. Uh, a lot of a lot of high quality polo shirts are made out of Pima Cotton. Uh, people pay good money for it. It's probably going to be a 18 plus dollar sweater. So yeah, um, that is actually the rest of the bag, or all of the bag, I should say. Um, so yeah, another really, I would say pretty successful bag. A lot of just like mid-tier inventory filler items, um, which is a big part of my business if you if, if you watch my videos for a while. A lot of the, the 10 to $15 items are really kind of, I don't want to say it, yeah, I, I am going to say it, are kind of the core of my business. Um, it's where I, it's, it's, those are the types of items that I can use to fill out my inventory to have a wide array of items to make consistent sales. Um, because my business model, so to speak, is to, to I don't want to say uh, have quantity over quality because that's not entirely true. I have a, a minimum type of quality that I want to reach with my inventory, uh, but definitely to definitely have a, a large amount of quantity uh, in terms of inventory, and that's kind of been my recipes for success. Uh, is if I if I can sustain a, a large amount of inventory, uh, aka quantity, then I can uh, you know have decently consistent sales. So. So yeah, cool. Uh, great, uh, great bunch of filler items. A few really nice items, such as the Wilson, a uh, couple of the wool items, a uh, couple of cool vintage pieces. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got today from the bins. Or not what I got today, what I got a while ago, but rediscovering what I got today. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys being here. Um, 
yeah, I'm just gonna keep on trying to pump out videos for you guys and just keep the transparency going, help you guys learn how to make more money online, what to search for, what to source, how to run a successful business. And yeah, if you appreciate it, uh, and if it intrigues you, hit the subscribe, like, and comment down below. Uh, that'd be fantastic. Again, I really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support so far. Um, I'm gonna keep them coming, so yeah, stay tuned. Peace.